This is problem 3-32 from RC Impeller Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitude and direction of the force FAB and we have also given a suspended mass of 10 kg. We can neglect the size of the pulley at A. Okay, to solve this problem, first of all, I have to draw a free body diagram of point A. This is the force FAB making an angle theta. with the horizontal these two are the tensile forces due to the strings let's call this one T and this is also T they both are same because this is a continuous string and when the string is continuous then the tension throughout the string remains the same. Also they are making an angle of 75 and 45 with the horizontal. Now to move forward I have to resolve these forces into their components. For the force FAP I have two components one parallel to the x axis and another one parallel to the y axis. FAB cos theta FAB sin theta and for these two forces I have two components for each force Let's label them. This one is T cos 75 degrees. This is also the same angle. And this component is T sine 75 degrees. This angle is also 45. This is T sine 45 degrees. And uh, this component right here is T cos 45 degrees now we have resolved the forces into their components now I can use the equations of equilibrium right now sum of the forces in the y direction equals to 0 I am taking up direction positive I have negative FAB sin theta, I have positive T sin 75 degrees, also I have negative T sin 45 degrees. equals to 0. Upon solving these two equations, our simplified form is 0 0.2588 times t equal FAB sin theta. Let's call this equation A. For the second condition of for the second equation, I have some of the forces in the x direction as 0. I am taking right hand side as positive. From here, I have positive FAP cos theta minus T cos 75 degrees minus T cos 45 degrees equals to 0. Upon solving this, we have 0 0.966 times T equal FAB cos theta. 
this is our equation D now you can see that we have two equations but three unknowns we can we cannot solve this by these two equations so we need another equation another equation comes from this portion of the diagram here you can see that the weight is acting downwards and the tension is moving upwards this is the same tension as T because the string is continuous so if I apply some of the forces in the y direction then T is equals to W and we can find the value of weight by the mass which we have been given which is 10 kg into 9.81 tension equals to 98.1 newton so i can replace t with 98.1 in the both these in the both equations so from equation a and b i have fab sin theta equals 0.25 88 into 98.1 FAB sin theta is equal to 25.388 let's call this equation 1 from equation B I have FAB cos theta equal to 0.966 into 98.1 FAB cos theta is equal to 94.7646 this is equation 2 to solve these equations now I have two unknowns and two equations so if I divide equation 1 by 2 then from here FAB cancels out sine over cos is equal to 10 theta From here, from here, theta is equal to 15 degrees. Now to find the value of FAB, you can put the value of theta in any one of these equations. You can put it in either equation 1 or in equation 2, you will get the same answer. I am putting it in equation 1 so from equation 1 FAB sine 15 degrees is equal to 25.388 FAB is equal to 98.1 Newton now this is the answer to this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for daily updates.